Hello ladies and gentlemen, Raven here and today I want to show you how to save your old Xfire profile. Uh, you might have noticed that Xfire was shut down right today. So why should you save your profile? Yeah, Xfire is dead, but not completely. There are still some functions left that are working without the online services. So for example we have the screenshot uh, function, the video capturing function and of course the XY in-game uh, clock and the FPS counter. Those are features that are still working without the online support. If you used one of those features in the past you probably change the keyboard shortcuts for those functions and here comes the problem uh, in the offline mode you can't use the options menu this is only available when uh, when you are offline uh, online but yeah with the shutdown of xfire this uh, menu is not available anymore so if you want to install Xfire on other computer and want to have your old key keyboard shortcut settings for those functions, you will have to copy your old Xfire profile to your new computer. And yeah, I will show you how to do this now. So first I made a folder called save your xfire profile. So now you will need to go to your xfire client, go to files, then then make a right click on your game support update, on your last game support update and go to uh, open directory. Uh, go a folder up and I recommend this, create a new folder within the save your xfire profile folder and give it as name the path where you got the, the files from that you will save in it now. So here in this folder you can just copy all files uh, that are in there. And now comes the second part. So open a new explorer and go your to your C drive, go to users, your name, or your user, then to app data, roaming, and then to Xfire. And now again, I recommend make a new folder in your save your Xfire profile, copy the path where you got your files from, and yeah, copy all the files again. So when you install Xfire on your new computer, uh, you now know where to save your old profile. It is important that you copy both of those folders at the place where they should be on your new new computer because if you forget one <laughs> uh, xfire won't recognize your profile i will also upload my profile settings at moddb for those people who have lost their profile because you might know the standard settings for xfire in-game are <laughs> really really bad um, yeah, so that might help you. And also I will make another video soon uh, for 
those people who still want to add uh, unsupported games to Xfire because uh, of the fact that the options menu isn't available anymore. Uh, the way you add those games is a little bit different now. Uh, yeah, that was it f from me. Have a nice day.